Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over our custom fixed blades or knives in general worth it. So stick around, we're going to get into the video. <laughs> Before we do that though, do me a favor, subscribe, like, share, comment, it's a sacrifice to the YouTube gods, it's the only way this channel does better and I really appreciate the support, so into the video. So we are going to be looking at two different knives today, so I have a Buck 119, and now everything on this is custom besides the blade, which is going to get me into my first talking point. A lot of these custom blades, I know Gerber has a custom shop. Buck, uh, this other knife that I have is actually a recent acquisition. I got this around Christmas. Uh, BPS knives, I'm pretty, uh, I, pre I like their offerings quite a bit, some of them at least. Uh, I forget what model number this is, uh, but they made a limited run. Let's see if the camera picks that up. So satin finish, like an olive green micarta handles, full tang, beautiful, beautiful, a good jimping on there, a full video on this coming up, but excellent. So it came with this Kydex sheath that is left-handed as well. It's actually ambidextrous, but for all intents and purposes, since I'm wrong-handed, that's what we're going to use it for. But yeah, the thing about these two is the blade steel is the same on these as their normal models. However, they call exponentially more. So I wonder what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. So there's certain aspects. Let's look at this BPS again. So this was a limited run. This is number 21 out of 100. Um, the Kydex sheath, BPS does really great work with leather. I have no qualms about that. Um, the mark my car to handle though I think I paid seventy dollars for this whole thing and their typical night I think this typical typical model runs for around forty bucks so a thirty dollar upcharge and I did a really good job with it I think you've got the mark my carta only thing is again there's screws in the side of the panels sticking out a little bit might cause some hot spots I am a fan of the satin finish it's gonna be really good especially if you're out in the woods or you're doing something you don't want to flash people and you, you don't want something that's super flashy same thing goes for this um, this buck, like I was talking about. So, super custom, elk antler, brass and micarta, but it's got the same 420 high carbon blade that the standard 119 does, but you're paying $200 or maybe a little bit more than that now for something like this with the leather sheath as well. So, is it worth it? Well, a lot of times for people, including myself, like a knife is an expression of your personality, right? You go out camp with your friends, like, oh, I'm going to bring a cool knife to show my buddies to show off a little bit or just, you know, carry something that you enjoy that fits you almost. So something I like uh, this, this is going to be like a family heirloom that I'm going to pass down gen gen ugh, generations, hopefully. English is tough, but um, having the nice elk and all that, like it's just like an, a classic American blade that I've wanted for some time. And now that I was able to afford it, I finally got one. So that's part of it. And I know the I could have gotten an S30V on the blade, but I would have had to pay $100 more. But I'm happy with the 420 high carbon. I like the edge I get on it. So the pros and cons for it, you know, uh, I'm okay with the cons because the pros are, you know, they're there. And I'm okay with spending a little bit more on this to have a, a custom example like this. Now, is that for everyone? I don't think so. Now, the other one, this is a stainless, this is 1066, but... uh. I like the leather, but having something that, like modular like this for backpacking, you've got this cool little clip here that you can push in and it flips that out so you can put it on. Maybe, I don't think molly webbing, I don't think it'd be big enough for that, but you can just definitely slide it on your belt. It'd be pretty good for that. I'm a fixed blade design, so I'm definitely a fan of that. Do I think it's worth $30 more than the standard? 100%. You can't hardly find a knife in the U.S. that you can switch from walnut to micarta handle skills for 30 bucks. Plus that, a different finish, you do have this uh, added pommel ring or uh, lanyard ring on the pommel here. Sorry, words are tough. Uh, as well as the the, the, the uh, Kydex sheet. So all that for $30 more, that was a steal in my opinion. I'm glad I was able to get one. They did a limited run back in November. Uh, but yeah, those are the two knives. I honestly think in certain situations, customized or definitely worth it. Are they for everyone? No, they're kind of expensive and they may not suit all of your needs, but if they do, they're definitely a, uh, a great blade to have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more content like this, let us know down in the comments below. I know we definitely appreciate it. Have a good day.